Alrighty, we got Monster Hunter Wild's Heavy Bowgun Weapon Overview from the YouTube channel, Monster Hunter. So I figure uh, there's gonna they're going to be coming out with little like weapon overviews uh, like every 12 hours, every 24 hours. So far, they've came out with like a, a new weapon overview. So I figure I'll just do some little uh, looks at them every... Uh, like in, in like batches or something like that. All right, so uh, we got heavy bow gun right now. Okay, so just off the rip, uh, this looks like, it looks like heavy bow gun. Well, actually, let me just play the video first. God dang it. All right, so bam, that's the video. Okay, so let me see. Just right off the rip, uh, you can see it has like a, a little shield right here. So it does look like auto guard is coming back to heavy bow gun. It does look like there's a scope right here. Uh, whenever I played um, heavy bow gun in Monster Hunter World, I fucking hated that this was like a good thing. Like, I hope, like, with that scope, like, you scope in, and it zooms in a little bit, and it is not very intuitive. It doesn't feel good to zoom in in a fight where, well, in a game where it's, like, heavily skewed towards, like, melee combat. Like, it doesn't feel good to, like, zoom in, where you're, with, with all the, the ranged weapons, you're already within, like, I would call it boxing range, where, uh... You can like dodge roll around a monster a monster will like whiff an attack and you're just like in this like little zone of like zone of influence where a monster can do something to you and you can dodge out of it it's not like a uh like with all the ranged weapons at monster hunter <clears throat> you're never like sniping or anything like that really you're never like super safe distance away from the monster I mean, number one, uh, there's a mechanic in here uh, with uh, like all the, the ranged weapons where uh, you have, there's like a magic distance and it shows up on the reticle. Like the reticle will like light up orange and then that'll be like the, the max damage distance. And then when it's like faded a little bit, it'll be, um, what do you call it? Like you'll still do damage, but it just won't be as much. So you always want to be in that uh, magic sweet spot distance which is you know like boxing distance i would call it but you know with if the scope is going to come back like don't make me scope in just leave it as a like an attachment to stick on there because it felt like stupid to play like spread bow gun spread heavy bow gun with the scope on it because spread ammo uh, in World and in, in Iceborne, it was really good. It's like the shotgun type ammo where you like just blast a bunch of pellets and a bunch of numbers pop up. And to do that with uh, a scope, it felt really, it was really good, but it, it didn't feel like intuitive, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, that one class in Call of Duty, I think it was in like old school Modern Warfare 3, where you have akimbo magnums and... You had like a like a sniper scope on each magnum and, you, and like the point of it was you're just slamming on a bunch of random attachments and you're just running around just like pulling like double triggering people uh that's what this feels like in uh monster hunter world with the scope so hopefully they fix that maybe maybe some people like the, the scoping in at close range i don't know i didn't Okay, uh, we see like a little reload thing. We see like a heat sink or a heat guard right here. It looks really cool. 
like just the graphics like some people think the graphics look like meh i think the graphics look pretty good like it's like warped like like it's heat i don't know what this is called i'm not a welder or anything like when the metal uh, is like discolored and shit like that from like heat and shit i think this looks cool but they they're um what was it in in world you had two like extra modes for um for heavy bow gun one was a like a snipe like a big fat snipe where you had to like go prone and you just hit like a big damage move on a on the monster and then you had this like weird machine gun thing so i guess they brought that back it's fine okay so that right there the pop 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 uh that signals to me that that is rapid fire uh so rapid fire was a thing i think with only light bow gun but now that you're giving it to heavy bow gun uh, it's skewing a little bit more towards instead of like because initially i was going to choose like a uh, dual blade light bow gun for the sake of mobility but now upon seeing like some of these like weapon overviews it seems like all the weapons got like a little bit more uh just base mobility in their kit and it looks like if you can speed up the mobility of like these heavy clunky weapons this seems like it's going to be like the heavy heavy weapon meta type of deal so i mean that's pretty cool you give rapid fire to a heavy bow gun so you reload he sticks like a little ammo piece in there and then down here at the bottom right uh expend energy uh in ignition mode to fire special ammo so you have these uh these little bullets right here i don't know if this is like some sort of like currency or some build-up gauge but this is like your machine gun gauge where like these are all your bullets and then and see this is what i was talking about like uh like the reticle is like like bright orange so it seems let me see so if you're at least close range to medium range it'll be you'll be getting like max damage because the game developer wants to incentivize you to like even though you do have a ranged weapon and it is like a significant advantage versus like a melee weapon uh you're gonna deal significantly more damage if you're close up to the monster so that's the whole point with this thing uh i don't remember this like uh so you have this like circle and then an x and then a dot but i don't know this like orange circle right here i don't know what this is this might is probably new uh it's probably something but i don't think it's it's going to be explained it's not explained in the video but you're going to see the gauge uh just drain down here and then you have uh this ammo right here so it uh you got like three little pips that are just like depleted and it seems like uh what was that one skill like free element ammo up or razor sharp razor ammo or something like anytime you popped off like an ammo there's a chance uh for your ammo to not expend like a bullet and it seems like that's kind of like what's going on coupled with rapid fire it's really good so Energy regenerates over time unless you successfully land hits. Yep. And. And you, uh, so like one of the things uh, that was really good that made heavy bow gun usable uh, in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne was there was two things. The ability to move and shoot and the ability to move and reload. So those two things are going to be key things to look for for heavy bow gun. Uh at, at least uh light bow gun it's a little bit different. You can like that the one of the things you're looking for is like uh what was it? The ability to like uh dash and reload because just light bow gun you can is already like way more mobile than heavy bow gun so that's just some of the main things that you're going to be looking for is and it, it's not just the ability to move and shoot or move and reload it's can you do it because there's different speeds if you uh you know go back into like world and iceborne you open up the menu and it's like uh reload and recoil or was it recoil it was like reload and whatever the other one was i haven't played that game in a while 
but it was two categories and you wanted them to be at least moderate, I think, or whatever it was. You wanted them to be at least like in the middle so that you could move. And then if you could have it go up a, a, a bump so that you could like move and reload and move and shoot pretty quick, like slightly quicker because again, uh, when, when you have the ability to move and shoot or move and reload, it's just a massive advantage. On top of the auto guard function, you can also guard incoming attacks manually. Okay. So you can auto guard and manual guard. Okay. Okay. So, so let me show you again. You can hear like this little like uh, sound. And oh wait, actually, let me see. Right back here. Dang. Okay. There it is again. One more time. You get the swing, big old wind up. You hear that little clash, like shh. And actually, if you notice, there's a lot of knockback whenever you uh guard like this dude just got knocked back like i don't know like a whole monster length yeah like he was like right on top of him and because he guarded he just like slid so far back okay so now focus mode uh use focus mode to target a monster's wounds and weak points so you got this like i guess this is focus mode for heavy bow gun and you can see all the uh, little sparks are lighting up. Wind up. Okay, that's like a little delayed hit. Okay, not too bad. And then this move. Yeah, we've seen this move. Uh, let me show you again. This move, this is pretty cool. You, like whip out that little heat sink thing right here. The heat sink thing just whips out and it's like, hey, which is badass. And then I think, I think this was pure ammo. <laughs> yeah, that was pure ammo because he hit him right through the head and then you can hear all the little ticks of damage just ricochet through his body. So hopefully uh, we get some decent uh, chunky, like long monsters to, you know, actually be able to use like pierce ammo. That'd be pretty good there. And that was pretty much heavy boga. So, uh, yeah, heavy boga looking good. Um, it's looking, uh, like heavy boga might be the move instead of light boga. Hopefully light boga comes out with, uh, some fireworks and uh we'll see what happens but we got some more stuff <coughs> okay what we got we got insect glaive insect glaive came out okay i'm just gonna play it first All right, so that was a video, and let's see. So, Insect Glaive. And I don't know why, but does what kind of like armor set does it, does this look like a uh, Rathlos or Rathian? Was Rathian the red one, and then Rathlos was the green one? I I forgot. Or is this like a different monster, like completely? This is probably like a new monster armor. It's pretty cool. You still got your little bug thing, your little bug bro. 
You got the, the good old air dashes and the air attacks. Okay, a mobile weapon you can use while controlling a creature known as a kinsect. So, I think... <sighs> Insect Glaive is kind of daunting for like a brand new player. Because I did have a little bout of trying to learn uh, Insect Glaive. And, you know, I, I, like every weapon, there's, there's some sort of a, like builder and spender meter like mechanic that goes along with it and like as a new player uh when i saw like the kinsect thing with the little buff thing i had no idea what the fuck to do uh maybe it was like like said in the game and i just wasn't paying attention but like i really had to depend on the the youtube guides to uh like figure out what the fuck i'm doing with this weapon but it's not a bad weapon and it's actually very flashy and like from what i understand uh, Insect wasn't a bad weapon. The main thing that was holding it back was just the, the, the numbers. Uh, it was very cool, visually appealing to look at. Uh, the gameplay of it was very pleasing as far as like melee combat goes because it was like one of the few uh, classes that could manually put itself in the air and control itself in the air going back and forth. So with like without using a wall or, or something like that or a cliff. Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's just keep going. So this was the, the part that I had the most uh, trouble like learning. I didn't understand that for each buff, and I think they kind of explain it right here with the reticle. If you throw your Kinsect out, you get a red buff and your red buff will be stored right there. So that is good. Hopefully they have, I would really like for them to have at least like some sort of like mini tutorial on how like each weapon like works. Like it's not the worst thing in the world to depend on like YouTube for like internet guides and whatnot uh, to figure out the ins and outs and the complexities of each weapon. But I do think the game should do like a better job at trying to explain how, like what you should be doing for each weapon. So uh, generally, uh, for like, like the three buffs, you want to target the monster's head, uh, throw your insect out, he'll just float around and then you call him back. He brings you back the red buff and now you have the red buff and then you throw your insect out on the body and it'll get you, I think it was either like white or yellow and, uh, it'll get you like the white buff and the same thing for the, like, I think it was the tail. Or maybe it was like the hind leg. I forgot exactly. Because every monster doesn't have a tail. It was like the head, the torso, maybe the back. I forgot exactly how it went. But like each buff corresponds to like a part of the monster that you're supposed to throw your little beetle at and like bring back. So red was attack. I think, what was it? Uh, number two was like defense, like attack up, defense up. And like, I think number three was like some sort of, it wasn't speed up. Uh, I forgot what the heck the third one was. And then this last like little piece, I think it was just like a buff extender. Uh, I could be, I'm probably wrong. I didn't play a lot of insect glaive. I did. I did put like a considerable amount of time in it, but it just, it did not end ended up being my main at all. <laughs> so, yep. You got your little buff. Uh, his buff is stored. Okay, so that's what it was. You can store up to two buffs instead of like going out three times. You can uh, like throw them out and then maybe travel to a different body and then you can store two buffs and then bring them back and then bang. And then I forgot what this meter is right here. This like little yellow one. Okay, gain powerful buffs by harvesting extracts from monsters. Okay. So I like if you notice like insect bro or insect glade bro is actually just like sidestepping some shit while he's like holding a form, which is really weird. That was not in worlds. Like, okay. So right here, he does like a stutter step. I don't remember. This was not a thing. 
So he's probably like walking around in focus mode, uh, which is fine. But I want to see like what he's going to do off of focus mode. That's what I want to see. Like if this is focus mode, I don't see any like sparks going. Okay, you got some overhead strikes. You got his number three, uh, like his orange buff. Or was it not orange? It's like yellow. He goes back into focus mode. So it seems like uh, it seemed initially that focus mode really benefited heavy weapons in that you could like direct their, their like cone of like attack or whatever. But for weapons that don't have like charge or anything like that, it seems like you just gain more mobility. So that's actually pretty cool. All right. Some of these moves seem familiar. And now you got, I don't know what happened. Maybe I got to go back. How do you get his number? How do you get his like white buff? Okay. I think he was like, he threw his little beetle on the tail. Let me go back. Or no, he got, was it the yellow one on the tail? I, okay, the beetle just like came out of nowhere. Maybe like he was on his body, but he got that. Now we've got all three buffs. Okay, okay yep. Yep, you can throw yourself in the air. Yep. Vault into the air, perform powerful jumping attacks at will. So this was actually really cool. Maybe they brought like the whole mounting mechanic back because you just like attach yourself to the monster right here. Uh, I don't remember that you could do that in world. You had to specifically mount the monster, but, uh, but if they took mounting away and then only insect glaive can do this, this is pretty cool. Okay. That was like a new move. Let me see that again. Like you, you just like you do like a forward thrust and then you do like a flash kick with like some swirlies. That's pretty badass. And you throw your beetle. <laughs> okay. This move, uh, this move just screams, uh, matrix two for me. You jam your little, uh, pole in the monster wherever it's at. And then you just swing around it and it just does damage. All right. This is just. It doesn't need to make sense. Every move doesn't need to make sense. You just gotta look cool doing it, okay? Like, look at it again. One more time. Yeah, that's badass, dude. Just, that's gonna look badass. <laughs> and then this move, oh my God. I actually, like, because of this video, I might switch my, like, two mains up from, like, dual blade uh bow gun to like insect glaive bow gun because uh this move like you can't really see it because the the animation clips in the monster so we get this move uh let me see if i can slow it down maybe sub where is all this bullshit where the fuck what's playback speed give me this mute okay so it's kind of hard to see but essentially you're like a beyblade Yeah, this is literally that move from like Mystic Spearhand from Dragon's Dogma 2. They literally just copy pasted that move. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they got that move back. Really cool. Good job for them. That's a good move. Uh, good on them for bringing that move back. That's a fan favorite move. All right, they brought down the, uh, the big old stab in the ground. This should... Like this was supposed to be in Monster Hunter World. This was a move was supposed to be really good, but it just didn't hit like as hard as you'd think it is. It would. But hopefully this move hits hard uh, because this was like one of the like a finisher type move. Like you're in the air, you're doing some combos back and forth, and then you just end it with like the stab into the into the ground. But uh, but yeah, I mean, god dang. Insect Glaive actually looking pretty good though, dude. So like, I think Insect Glaive, you could kind of play it in like any which way. You could play Raw, you could play Status, 
or you could play element because it was just flexible enough to do like anything uh it, uh because of like the the kinsec buffs uh yeah and all the little tiny hits uh you could it made it able you made it able so that you could play elemental or status um and then the numbers were just like they weren't crazy but you could play raw if you wanted to like it wasn't the worst thing in the world but raw was just good for anything really but hopefully they tweak the numbers and the motion values and all that shit to make insect glaive a little more uh maybe beginner friendly you know i hesitate to say that because i don't want to like dumb the class down entirely but i do want the class to like slap all right but uh yeah that was a uh, another good one uh and then we got one more get over here okay we got the gun lance g lance Woof. Dang. Okay. Once more. Okay. This is an absolute unit of a gun lance. Even if this is like the basic bitch gun lance, this just looks fucking cool, man. Look at the amount of detail in this shit. Like, even on the blade, dude. Like, it's so much shit going on right here. All right here. And then, what is this? Like, leather or like wood or something with all the etchings and whatnot? Look at all this shit. This is badass. And then it's got like belts and 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 latches and thatches and buttons and stuff and studs <laughs> and a little uh, tiara crown on top of it. But uh, yeah, this gun lance is looking so good right here. This is the vibe. They, it, it, this is like this is gun lance like incarnate. When you think gun lance. It's like this heavy steampunk, uh, big ass sword attached to like a gun. It's like, is it a gun first and with like a huge ass knife or is it like a lance with like a little gun on top of it? You don't really know. It's actually kind of funny if this is like the, the firing mechanism right here. This is like bigger than the girl's head. <laughs> and just right there, it seems like you can kind of tell like whenever you charge up, uh, Gun Lance is like three levels. So, like, just with the sound. So it goes one, two, three, bang. Okay, a weapon with long reach and the ability to fire explosive shells. So you got your pokes, you got your poke shelling, or not poke shelling, but like, there were, in Monster Hunter World, there were like three types of lances. Uh, I did have like a brief bout of trying to learn gun lance and uh, the different kinds. And uh, uh, essentially, I'm going to butcher this so bad because gun lance is like pretty fucking complicated with like the three different play styles. Like there was like poke gun lance, uh, the poke shelling one, and then the charge shelling. And then there was maybe I'm like. Maybe I'm like separating two. And then there was one where it was like, there was one called like slap lance where you like, you slap the, like the ground and you just like unload everything all at once. Okay. So this move, I don't remember this move was not in Monster Hunter world. 
this like sidestep with the shelling. This is a good little addition. So let me see. So you got the poke, poke, poke shell, shell, back hop. Okay. So this move right here, it's like a, a sidestep with a shelling. Okay, so like right here. Yeah, you're like sidestepping and shelling at the same time. That's actually pretty cool. It's like offensively defensive or defensively offensive, however you want to think about it. So that's a good little addition. And then your gap closer, that's that's fine. This move, that's actually badass. Uh, you have a gap closer followed up with like this big uh, swooping fucking thing. I don't know what to call that move. Oh, and then you end up with the fucking worm steak right in there. Or maybe like the worm steak was already in there and you just ended up hitting it. And it's just, and you hear this like very bassy, meaty sound of like, dug, 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 dug. Yeah, if there's one thing that Gunlance does right, it's the damn sounds. Like, seldom do other weapons uh, actually have like an opportunity to like showcase uh, the sound design and the sound engineering of just the game in, in general. But when anytime you introduce like, like guns into the mix, it's just like, then you have to start thinking about, oh, we need a lot of bass with this shit. This thing needs to sound meaty. This thing needs to sound heavy. And that is really cool. This big old like swoop attack. Guard against even the most powerful attacks. So you have like your manual guard. All right, good, good. Backstep. Was that a guard point or a parry? A variety of powerful shell based attacks. Let me say that again. Or was that like a perfect block? I don't even know if that was, was that a guard point or no? Cause I do remember, uh, Lance had a move that made its shield, uh, light up. I forgot what the hell it was called, but, uh, anytime. So like guard pointing was a thing. I think the only charge blade had, I'm not sure if any other, uh, shielded weapons had guard points, but one of my main critiques and I was. Uh, one of my main critiques what, for Charge Blade was about the guard points. Yes, the game like kind of tells you about guard points, but it was kind of hard for me uh, to learn like where the guard points were in a move, because I mean, maybe maybe Gunlance will have some guard points, maybe not. I don't know. Well, if you don't know what a guard point is, uh, essentially it's just a move where uh, that you just automatically guard in your move and you gain, whenever you do guard on a guard point, the guard uh, gains two levels of guard. So how guard works in Monster Hunter is that you can have up to, I think, seven levels of guard and you know, obviously the higher guard you have, the more uh, damage you can block from a monster and the, like the less stamina it'll take uh, when you do guard. And uh, what was it? You can only gem, I think, uh, what was it? Like up to five, but then you could, there were moves that like you could guard point up to seven because guard point will give you plus two guard and not every move could be guarded like there were some moves where you needed a, a guard up uh, a gem to make it so you could block some like previously unblockable moves but even if you had like a uh, guard five and guard up there were still moves in the game that you couldn't guard up guard point and that was really fucking annoying so hopefully uh we figure that out to make it a little bit more easy uh, that little shield flash is really good. If I think it's, if I think it's a guard point, 
that's just like an, a visual indicator that is like only there to help uh, like newer players that aren't so good at the game that don't spend like thousands of hours into the game. So that was like my main critique for uh, guard points. It was really hard to tell when it was like active and when it just simply wasn't there. But um, if they put like a little light up shield thing, uh, indicator on the shield when the guard point is active, I think that's that's fine. It's no big deal. And then that that you're just like you're holding a charge like a uh, shell, and you're able to like move around a little bit. So I think that's what, actually let me say that one more time. Nope, not far. So three, four, five, bang. So you, you, there's like little five puffs of smoke and you can kind of move, but not really. Like you could slowly move and you just unleash like just a blast. So that's good. Oh yeah. That was the slap Lance thing. Let's say oh, one more time. Yep, that was the move. The, the the thrust up, and then you slap it down, and then you just, like, unleash. You unleash all your shells into the monster. Thank God they don't have, like... Well, not thank God, but, like, thankfully they don't have, like, the damage numbers right here to, like, give away all the, all the juice. And as you're charged up, uh... I forgot what the... what it was called. This is, like, Worm Steak Blast. I forgot the name of the move, but this is like your main move that you want to do when uh, the monster's just down. Very satisfying. And this is like a new move, like a focus move. Yeah, that just sounds good, dude. Like multi-hit moves. That's what I'm saying. Give more weapons multi-hit moves just to like have them feel the power of the multi-hit. It's just so satisfying. Let me do it again. Okay. Focus mode. Bang. Okay. You reload your gun. You put a worm stake in or something. You start spinning that shit. Go into focus mode. And you just charge. You know what this is? This is the damn uh, charge move from Lance. Lance has this little like get down take cover mode and you just like multi hit past the monster. So I think this is good that you gave Gunlance this because Gunlance needed a little bit more maneuverability. Uh, you know, since you took away like from rise uh, in rise Gunlance, you like uh, you'd have that ability to uh, like just shoot yourself across the map essentially, which was fine in like arcade and whatnot. But you know, this version of monster hunter was more like staked in like real world reality physics and whatnot. So it's kind of understandable that you can't really blast yourself off uh, like using just a gun lance like a rocket. So how do you gain mobility if you take that move away? Well, I'll just give him like a little charge. This is fine. This is good. So good. And with the back hop. Oh. This is just glorious. This is just Michael Bay all day. And look at the shield. Look at the shield light up. Like right there. Bang. Is this a guard point or uh, or just like a guard mode? Like a perfect guard. It just gets activated. And a lot of these moves, you're just like in guard. Able to do shit. So that's really good. Let me see this one more time. Yep. You put the worm stake in there. You just start aiming at it with uh, with your shells. And like, you, again, you see the shield like light up. Like, look at this. Yeah, hopefully they give Gunlance like a little guard point type of deal. Um, And there's like a visual indicator. Oh, when your shield lights up, uh, this is like a good time to guard. You know, just something simple like that. Yeah, Gunlance is looking good too, man. A hundred percent. So, uh, yep, that's like just a, a quickie little 
overview of like these three weapons i'm sure more will come out but um but yeah i'll try to keep up with them and uh, i'm just excited i like seeing all these like little changes that they're dealing with all the weapons this is awesome good job monster hunter hell yeah but uh yeah that's pretty much it for me i'll catch you guys on the next one all right later